What is going on guys? Welcome to episode 3 of my Nothing to Titanium White mainframe. We are actually making so much progress towards this white mainframe, like I think we can get it done in around 8 episodes maybe. However, the market is sort of returning back to normal, so mainframe will probably rise up a little bit. Also, just to let you guys know, server boosters do actually get access to my videos 30 minutes before everybody else. So if you have Discord Nitro and you have a spare boost lying around, you know what to do. Anyway guys, let's roll the video. And before we do get into the video, everyone knows that credits from the item shop are extremely expensive, but AOA provides cheaper credits and cheaper Rocket League items for every console and every platform. Now, there's safety and security for every single order you make, and if you want 6% off, use my code UNLUCKY at checkout, because everyone knows how unlucky I am. And also, remember to use my creator code in the item shop, HT underscore FER, because it really helps support the channel. Alright, so the first trade of today's video, we're going to be selling a Fennec, unpainted, for 600 credits. Now, we bought this last episode for 400, so making an easy 200 credits profit. Now, it shows in the inventory that I have two Fennecs. One of those is actually just my main Fennec on my main account, so we can ignore that. It's not part of the nothing to something. So, now we're selling a pearlescent mat for 250 credits. I bought this for 80 credits at the last, uh, the end of last episode. Uh, this pearlescent mat's a brilliant one for traders because people sometimes get it out of rare drops and they don't know how much it's worth, so we can really buy it for cheap, and then I know how much it's worth, obviously, so I can sell it for 250. Now, I'm selling this striker white monsoon. I got this in, first, in the first episode as part of like a 10 credits for 24 limiteds deal, getting an easy 70 credits out of it. It took me all this time to sell, but I'm not complaining, just cheeky 70 credits. Now, I'm selling this non great very rare for 40. I actually got this as part of an overpay for a black market last episode. I got a non great very rare and a non great import, that Mantis you see in my archive there. Um, so I'm just going to be selling them both here. Um, non great very rares always sell for around 40 on PlayStation, and you can get 50 quite easily for non great imports. So for you guys that didn't know what prices to sell your non great very rare and non great imports at, 40 and 50 is what you want. Uh, it's the best way to get the most credits. Now I'm selling this unpainted Meteor Storm for 350 credits. I got this last episode for 100 credits under minimum price, so I'm making an easy 150 credits profit on this one. Now I do aim to make 150 credits profit on each black market, that way I know like I'm making a good amount of profit on each one, uh, so I can set the standard from there. Now I'm buying this Hellfire for 100 credits under min, and then this Drawling Dragons for 150 credits under minimum price. I know I can get a mid price for both, so this is definitely a good underpay on my side. Now I'm selling the Hellfire and the Hexed for mid price each. This guy wanted both, he obviously wanted a little gold explosion and decal set up, selling it for mid price, making 150 credits profit on each black market, which means 300 credits profit from that trade in total. Now I'm selling the Dueling Dragons for mid price, 1.9k, after buying it for 150 under min, which means I'm making 250 credits profit just on this one item. Now Dueling Dra Dragons has since risen, but it hadn't at the point of this video, so that's why I didn't sell it for more. Now I'm selling the Black Gravity Bomb we got for 400 credits under minimum price last episode. I'm selling it for 850 credits and a Tactician Big Splash. Now I bought this uh, Gravity Bomb for 900 credits, so I'm already getting 800, uh, 850 credits back, plus a Big Splash which is Tactician which I know can really easily sell for mid price. At the point of this video, um, Big Splash is worth falling on the spreadsheet, so getting mid price for the Tactician was actually really good. We made 450 credits profit just from one black market there. Painted black markets are honestly so OP when it comes to profit because you can get such good prices. Now I'm buying a 20XX here for 100 credits under minimum price. This is just one of those simple unpainted black markets that I know I can get 150 credits profit on. Um, 20XX is quite a popular decal so it does sell really quickly as well so I know I can get mid price pretty much instantly for it. Now, as I said, here I am selling it for 500 credits. Considering I just bought it for 350, I do not complain. I think these trades were actually done with literally 5 minutes uh, between them. So, like, even if you just have 350 credits lying around, in 5 minutes you can have 500 credits. This is how easy trading is. Now I am buying a black interstellar for 900 credits. This is 300 credits under minimum price. This is what I mean by painted black markets. You can get such good underpays on them and then you can sell them for about mid or min price and you can make some really good profit. Now mainframe for a 100 credits under minimum price, I believe this was. Yep, yeah, it has since risen. So obviously this would be probably impossible in today's market. But yeah, getting a nice little underpay on the mainframe. 
Now I'm selling the black interstellar for min price. I tried to sell it for mid at first, but it actually dropped a little. Um, so selling it for min was better. So I made 300 credits profit on one uh, painted black market there. Black interstellar, in my opinion, is one of the cleanest decals. Like it's almost as clean as white, in my opinion. Uh, now buying anodized for 50 credits you'll probably notice throughout the series that I do always just buy and sell anodized paint finishes I mean they are so easy to buy for 50 credits and so easy to sell for 120 I always do it now I'm selling the mainframe here for 1250 credits which is 150 credits profit I know I always say it but 150 credits profit on each unpainted black market always makes for some nice profit and like it's so easy to do like these trades are done so quickly like 10-15 minutes between them easy now I'm buying a white shattered for 400 credits under the minimum price. White shattered is one of my favourite gold explosions so I enjoyed playing around with it while I had it but yeah you can get such a good underpay on that, 400 credits under minimum price. Now I'm buying this Dueling Dragons for 100 credits under the minimum price plus a Deco Punk. So the Deco Punk I'll never be able to sell that so I don't really care about it so essentially I'm underpaying by 100 credits and I know I can get mid price for it which is 200 credits profit. Now I'm buying a airstrike for 100 credits under the minimum price. I know I can sell this for mid price, which is 850, and make an easy 150 credits profit. I sort of went on a little buying spree here, so I might need to start selling things soon. Selling the anodized for 120. Uh, again, I always just buy and sell anodized on the side. Even when I'm buying and selling bigger things, anodized is just that little bit of profit you can get every now and then, and it you know just helps get your credits up a little bit. Now I'm selling the white shattered for mid price, which at the time was 2,100 credits. I'm making 500 credits profit off one white gold explosion. That's why painted black markets are actually OP when it comes to singular profit. Now like they're a bit harder to buy and a bit harder to sell, but they're definitely worth the shot. Now I'm selling the airstrike for 850 credits, which I previously bought for uh, 700 credits, which is an easy 150 credits profit. Now for unpainted black markets, you can't get as much profit as painted ones, um, but they are a lot easier to sell. Now for the dueling dragons, I'm getting mid price again, which means I get 100, I mean, no, sorry, it means I get 200 credits profit. Um, because dueling dragons is more expensive, the price range is 200 credits rather than 100 credits, which means you can easily get um, mid price, which is more profit. Now this guy um, had an atomizer and I was paying 100 credits for atomizers which is 100 credits under min and he tried to tell me I said 170 on Rocket League Garage when I know I didn't. He tried to bump up the price by telling me I already told him 150. Cheeky tactic there but I did not fall for it. <laughs> Drop a quick no I didn't in chat. And I bought an atomizer for 100 credits under the minimum price uh, which I can sell for 150 credits profit. Now, I actually got an overpay for the Atomizer. I got more than 150 credits profit. That's a non-crate exotic plus 160 credits, which is about 360 credits. So I turned 100 into 360, and these trades, again, were done with 15 minutes uh, between them. So easily, easily made, you know, 300 credits in a few minutes. Um, obviously, I'm now selling that non-crate exotic for 200 credits, uh, cashing out all on the offer that I just got. Now I am buying a Polypop for 80 credits. Polypop's minimum is 150 credits. You can't really pay 50 for them, which is 100 under min, so I just paid 80. I won't make 150 credits profit, I'll more like make 120 credits profit off this black market, but I'm not complaining since it's just something I can like sit around with in the inventory, it was very cheap. As I said, I always buy and sell anodized. I'm buying another anodized for 50 credits. Now with these ones, they're so cheap, they can sit around in your inventory for a little bit while you just try and sell them for 120, and I'm not even like, you know, I don't, I'm not even bothered about it. In fact, I probably even forgot about it. Now I'm buying a sky blue Zomba for 150 credits under the minimum price. Painted Zombas are actually really good because you can buy them for 150 under and sell them for mid pretty easily. So buying that for 450 was a good deal. Now another amazing thing to flip is black wheels. Buying a black OEM for 900, which is actually 200 credits under the minimum price, and I know I can get mid for that thing, so I'm not complaining. Now I'm selling the anodized I got earlier for 120, just, you know, cheeky, like, few credits profit. Uh, you know, it's always good, always good. Even though I've got, like, more credits now, even the just a few credits profit is always good for me. Now I'm selling these Sky Blue Zombas for 700. Considering I just bought them for 450, that is a really good deal. Selling them for mid price is always the thing to go with Zombas. They sell so easily, they're such a popular wheel. And they're also like, quite easy to buy under the min price. Now I'm selling the Black OEM for 1,200 credits, which is, min which is mid price. Now I bought this for 200 credits under min. Now I'm selling it for mid. That's 300 credits profit on that one wheel. Such a beautiful thing to buy and sell. 
Anyway guys, that does bring us to the end of the video now. I hope you did enjoy it and I hope you are enjoying the series as it goes along. Please leave a comment down below making any suggestions of videos I should do and just tell me how you think the series is doing so far. Feedback and stuff is always appreciated and I always try to answer questions. Now don't forget to join my Discord server, the link is in the description and as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, if you boost the server you will get 30 minutes early access to all my videos. See you guys.